This is Channel 5 News coming out of Tbilisi, Georgia. My name is Michael Fisher. I am the crisis manager of this committee and award-winning journalist. I am a junior in the School of Foreign Service studying international political economy with a certificate in classical studies. And I'm here today with President Mikhail Shakashvili, the Georgian president. Please call me Anna. I'm also a junior in the School of Foreign Service studying science, technology, and international affairs with a concentration in biotechnology and global health. Mr. President, what's the current situation on the ground in Georgia today? The current situation is grim. It's not looking very good. Our, relation, our relationship with Russia is deteriorating. Um, there's a lot of instability instigated by Russia, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Georgia is trying to hold our ground. We're trying to reach compromise, but Russia isn't cooperating at the present moment. And so how did, how did this situation come to, come to be? Back a couple of years ago, things seemed to be going fairly well between Georgia and Russia. A little frosty, but nowhere near the sort of instability that we're seeing today. Um, you're completely right. Uh, frankly, Russia is completely at fault. I don't want to say Naturally. that, but I don't want to start tensions between our country, but you know, Putin has crossed the line. They've blamed Russia for, I'm sorry, they've blamed Georgia for things we haven't done. Um, we are the freely elected government that you know the West will look favorably upon. Mm -hmm. and Russia is just going back to old Soviet ways. It seems like the farther we get away from the collapse of the Soviet Union, the more Russia is reverting back to mm -hmm. its old ways. Mm -hmm. the if we look at the polls out there right now, there's a lot of fear amongst the, the Georgian people about the saber rattling that Russia has been producing as of late. Mr. President, do you have a message that you could give uh, the Georgian people, those who might be coming to work with you, to speak with you in the, the coming months? Yes, um, I love Georgia just as much as all of you do, and I guess my only message is to be prepared for anything. Russia is very unpredictable. Mm -hmm. We don't know what they're going to do. And we are going to, we just need to do everything to save our motherland and to save our country. So, Georgian people, I'm here for you, but you have to be prepared for anything. Now, taking a, a different track, Anna, my favorite memory of Naaman as a seven year veteran of the conference is probably the delegate dance. I just, I have so many fond memories of, of working within that space. What about you? What's your favorite memory? Well, last year I was on the Sino-Soviet Committee of 1964, mm. and my committee did an interpretive dance to the Chinese National Anthem. Interpretive dance? Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully we can see a little image of that perhaps later in the broadcast. Maybe if our committee raises enough money, I will give them a clip of that interpretive dance. Or a reinterpretation? Okay, yeah, maybe we can do an interpretive dance in the Georgian National Anthem. I think that's a possibility. Yeah. Um, so what are you most looking forward to at the same? Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. I love Naaman. Naaman's one of the, my favorite things. It's one of the things that brought me to Georgia. I mean, I just, when I get up, I just get so excited. I'm like crazy. It's, it's Naaman, it's small, you win, it's charity, it's, it's everything. It's such a great experience for delegates. I just, I can't, it's hard for me to even express in words how excited I get for Naaman. Can't wait to see the enthusiasm from you and from our delegates. In our six days till sunset, Georgian Cabinet 2012, we look forward to seeing you all there.